Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in my previous video, I shared an easy method to set any video of your choice as a live lock screen wallpaper on your Mac. So while reviewing the comments, I noticed that many users are curious about setting a custom video as their desktop wallpaper. So in this video, I will share an easy method on how to set any video of your choice as your desktop wallpaper on your Mac. So let's get started. First, open any browser and search for iWallpaper on Google. Now, open the first App Store link. On this pop-up, click on Open App Store. So this will redirect you to the official iWallpaper app link on the App Store. So this is the iWallpaper app developed by Wallpaper Engine. So just click on the download link and install the iWallpaper application on your Mac. Once downloaded and installed, click on the open button. So this is the first preview of the iWallpaper application. The iWallpaper application comes with built-in live desktop wallpapers that are both static and dynamic. So there are thousands of live wallpapers that you can choose from. Now, in order to set any wallpaper as your desktop wallpaper, simply click on the wallpaper of your choice and then click on the download button on the right. Once the wallpaper is downloaded, click set as background and you are done. You can now see this beautiful 4K Nebula wallpaper as your desktop background, which looks pretty dope. You can browse through their wallpaper library and download the wallpapers of your choice and use them as your desktop background. So this is an amazing 4K astronaut wallpaper, which comes with built-in music. Looks pretty dope, right? So with iWallpaper app, you can choose your favorite live desktop wallpaper from thousands of available wallpapers. So now let's proceed to set any video of your choice as our desktop wallpaper. For this, I will download a video of Sir Virat Kohli signing on the camera. So once the video of your choice has been downloaded, save it to your desktop. So once the file is downloaded, open the iWallpapers application and then click on My Uploads in the left panel of the application. Now click on Upload Now. Here, drag and drop the video file that you want to save as your desktop wallpaper. Once done, you will receive a pop-up notification stating that your video has been automatically added to the downloads queue and will be available in the download section shortly. Since we have saved the file onto the desktop, it will be automatically added to your outcloud drive. The iWallpaper application automatically fetches any video saved onto your iCloud. So after a while, go to your My Download section on your iWallpaper application and you will see your video. Now, simply click on the video and then select Set as Wallpaper. So here is your video which will now run as a live wallpaper on your desktop. Now, let's discuss on how we can remove this watermark. So basically there are two ways to remove this watermark. The first method is to refer this application to three of your friends. You can simply click here to share your referred code with your friends and use this wallpaper without a watermark. The other method is to purchase the iWallpaper application for 5 bucks, which grants a lifetime access. So to do this, simply click on settings and then select remove watermark. You won't ever regret paying $5 for an amazing application like iWallpapers. I have been personally using this app for 2 years now. You are just paying pennies for thousands of live wallpapers and using this amazing application. Please note that this video is not a paid promotion. I personally use this and love this app and I recommend it here. So once the payment is completed, simply click on restore purchase. Once done, close your application and restart it. You will no longer see this watermark on your desktop and you can enjoy your favorite video as your desktop wallpaper for life. You can now choose your favorite wallpapers and set them as your desktop background at any time. You can also hide the iWallpaper icon by going to the settings and then checking hide menu items. So that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like these. I'll see you in the next one.